How's it going guys, Mr. Holton here. So hey, do you guys remember Skyrim? You know that game that released back in 2011 that kind of blew everyone's mind? Which also resulted in it becoming one of the most recycled games of all time. That mountain is not just a backdrop, you can walk all the way to the top of that mountain. And it's a huge world. Yeah, that's Skyrim. It's that time of the year again, and just this last weekend, the Super Mega Ultra Very Special Edition, or Anniversary Edition for short, was released. So once again, I dove head first into this magnificent magical universe in all its glory, expecting yet another half-completed Bethesda release because as much as I love Skyrim, for some reason I just can't seem to trust Bethesda that much. Hmm, I wonder why. Alright, I'll stop bashing Todd for a second. The guy has a clear vision for what he wants for his games, and Skyrim was one of the few games where he actually saw his vision come to fruition. The Elder Scrolls Skyrim has always been one of my all-time favorite games, and there's plenty of reasons why. It's a huge game in a universe that feels very lived in. There's so much adventuring to do, whether it's exploring tombs, taking care of bandits, or, you know, slaying dragons. But hey, you know all this already, don't you? So why don't I just get to the point where I talk about what's different in the Anniversary Edition, eh? So, the whole selling point of the Anniversary Edition is the Creation Club bundle you get with a slightly upgraded look of the game, in order to make it somewhat appealing on the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Now, as usual, I haven't finished and seen all the stuff that's included in the bundle yet. I've been mostly re-immersing myself into the world of Tamriel, because it's seriously been over 8 years since I last played any form of Skyrim. But in essence, what you get are basically every Creation Club DLC, including Skyrim Special Edition. There are over 40 plus already released Creation Club items you get, plus 26 items that are new. Oh, and of course you get every major DLC like Dawnguard, Hearthfire, and Dragonborn. Also, I haven't encountered any real problematic bugs yet, but that might just be because Bethesda's ironed out every bug in the game. The mandatory stratosphere smash is still in the game, thankfully. Die. And I'm still waiting for Bethesda to implement a wider field of view setting for the first person mode. But let's get back to the creations. What are these creation club items then? Well, this is basically content that have been made by Bethesda themselves, or approved modders that Bethesda are working with. Some of these you won't even have to upgrade to the Anniversary Edition to actually get. If you already own the Special Edition of Skyrim, you'll get the Saints and Seducers expansion, the Rare Curious expansion, Survival Mode and the Fishing Skill. Now I've only really checked out Saints and Seducers, Survival and Fishing. To be honest, the Fishing Skill didn't really catch me. As you basically just stand around and wait for the right time to click on your left mouse button. This might be because I'm spoiled after Red Dead Redemption 2's amazing fishing system. But hey, as I haven't really dived <laughs> into this part of the Anniversary Edition, I might be missing out since apparently there are fishing related quests. Then we have the Saints and Seducers, which are two groups of bandits that when killed, you receive some new armor and weapons as well as other stuff that I don't want to spoil. If you're starting out, you might want to wait up with these since I wasn't prepared for how hard these mobs would be here, as shown by the footage. Survival mode is exactly what it sounds like. The difficulty turns up to 11 as you now have to eat, drink and stay warm just like in the real world. You also get some hefty stat penalties, and as soon as I saw the carry capacity go down, I instantly turned it off. But hey, it's survival mode, so if that's your thing, then there you go. Alright, so let's answer the question. Is Skyrim Anniversary Edition worth your money? Well, hmm, that kind of depends. If you've never played Skyrim before? Well, other than the fact that I envy you, you've missed out on one of the best gaming experiences of all time. You're getting hundreds of hours worth of content here, and because of that, I'd say, yes, the price tag of $49.99 US dollars, or $54.99 euros is well worth your money. And congratulations on being a virgin, by the way. A Skyrim virgin, that is. So what if you've played Skyrim before then? Are these additional creations and the slightly upgraded graphics worth it either at full price or the $19.99 US dollar price tag it costs to upgrade your special edition? Well, that's hard to answer, to be honest. 
Since I haven't played Skyrim myself in such a long time, it also meant that I didn't have my physical copy left. So the experience for me has been sort of like when Mass Effect Legendary Edition was released. I felt refreshed and had forgotten about a lot of the content in the game. It's nice to dive headfirst into a gigantic and fully realized universe with a bunch of extra stuff to boot, since these Creation Club expansions and DLCs are something I've never seen before. So even if I am familiar with a lot of the content, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't seen yet. And I think this will be the same for anyone who's in my shoes. However, if you have a fully modded Skyrim, then you probably have a bunch of graphical mods installed as well. In which case, I'd have to say no. The upgrade maybe isn't worth it considering you probably have enough mods anyway. If you have the special edition, then you still get the four major new creations for free. The issue here seems to be that the free update can mess up your mods or break your existing game. So, a reminder for anyone who doesn't want to upgrade and want their mods intact, disable the automatic update on Steam or wherever else you have Skyrim installed. And yeah, that's about it. Buy it if you haven't played Skyrim before. Yes, buy it if you haven't played Skyrim since it first released. No, don't buy it if you don't care about the Creation Club stuff. The graphical enhancements alone are not worth the price, but everything else is. As always, thank you for watching guys, and have a great day. Mr. Holton, signing out.